everyone! Thanks for checking out today's Canva tutorial video. Today's video request is how to use videos and photos on thumbnail in Canva. So let's get started! Here on your home page, go to the search bar and type in whatever kind of thumbnail you're trying to create. For example, a standard YouTube video thumbnail, a YouTube shorts thumbnail, etc. So we're just going to go with something simple today and that's a YouTube thumbnail. And from the drop down, we're going to select YouTube thumbnail and we will be taken to the um, templates page. So feel free to choose any template that you want to use and modify for your thumbnail. I think I like this one, so we're going to click on this and click on customize this template for us to be taken to the Canva editor. Okay, here we are. By the way, in case you want to change your template, you can always do that by going to the side panel over here and you can find them under the design category. The next thing we need to do is to upload our photos and videos that we'd like to use on our thumbnail. So to do that, we're going to go to the Uploads button on the sidebar, and from here, we're going to click on Upload Files. So select the files that you want to upload, or that you, yeah, you want to upload. I'm going to upload this one and this one. Um, in case you want to upload multiple files at the same time, but they're like not next to each other, you can just long press the uh, control button on your keyboard while selecting. And then once you've selected everything, go to open, click on open so that they'll be uploaded over here. Images go here on the images tab and videos are going to be found under the videos tab. Okay. Just simply click on your image to add it to your design, and then you can position it however you want to. Um, I'm going to right click on it and click on replace background so that I'd be able to fill the entire page with this photo. And in order to adjust its position, I'm going to double click and drag it into place. Click on done. And of course, we're actually going to um, redesign our thumbnail right here. So I actually think these elements look really cute. So I'm going to keep some of them. And I'm going to place the uh, text over here. But we're going to choose a nice um, color that would make our text pop. So I'm going to go to the color button and select a color here that would look good. I think white might be okay, but perhaps we can add effects to it. So let's click on effects and select an effect that would make it look good and more visible. I think this is actually nice. Perhaps we can just adjust the thickness of our outline here and maybe we could also adjust the offset. And I'd like to bring that over here. And perhaps I'm just going to change or delete that and Perhaps we're going to change our text to something like that. And I've got an idea. I'm going to try to put like a paint or swatch element. So I'm going to go to graphics and I'm going to select this. Put this one over here. Duplicate it. Flip it. flip it vertically and send it backward and perhaps we're going to change the color of our text to something that would pop. I think that's nice. This one we're going to change the color of this element 
this one I think it's okay yeah and there you go just a very simple thumbnail that you can now use now let's go to add page so that we can talk about how you can create a thumbnail out of your video so you remember that we uploaded a video earlier we're going to go to uploads and go to videos and we're going to add our video by clicking on it and we can actually just uh, position it like that or do what we did earlier so that's right click and set video as background let's position it properly and I just want to make sure that the woman is in the middle by the way I got these uh, photos and videos from Pexels one of the best places to go to for stock photos and since it's a video then of course you're gonna have to select a part of your video that you'd like to use on your thumbnail so how do you do that well you can pull up your timeline click on duration and then go to the part that you'd like to use on your thumbnail say for example right over here this is a good shot but I think it's a similar shot you can press S on your keyboard to split it into two pages I'm gonna delete this one and then we're just gonna need one second of it I'm gonna go here and adjust it like that just one second so I'm gonna hide the page now and now I'm going to start editing my thumbnail so we could do the same thing we could add a text you can press T on your keyboard to add a text box and I'm gonna say travel with me and we're gonna change our color to white oops and then maybe we could add effects to it let's try a different effect this time maybe just one would be okay I mean a plain effect would be okay and go to elements to add some nice elements that we can use I'm gonna uh, click this one put it here and change it to white and I'd like to put this one over here as well change it to white oops and I'd like to add an airplane with uh, kind of like these cute lines I'm gonna duplicate these first maybe delete that change this to white and perhaps choose this or maybe I could just yeah duplicate this one flip it make this one bigger and put an airplane to it like this there we go and now that we've finally finished designing our thumbnail um, you can download it so go to the share button above go to download and make sure to select PNG as your file type so that it'll be saved as an image file and if you're a Canva Pro user you can adjust these other download settings over here as well according to your preferences
You can increase its size or resolution to maximum. You can tick these check boxes as well, but I think you don't need them. Select the pages that you want to download. And if you select um, multiple pages, it's going to be downloaded as a zip file. But no worries, I'm going to show you how to unzip your zip file once we download our images. So let's go ahead and click on download. Okay, so now we're going to save it. I'm just going to create a new folder first. So this will be sample thumbnails. And I'm going to open it, um, save it here. And let's open it, show it on the folder. And since we've created a folder for it, then we are ready to ex extract our um, zip file over here. So we're just going to right click and click on extract here from the drop down. And there you go. Let's try to open our images. So this is our thumbnail number one using the photo that we uploaded. And this is thumbnail number two using the video that we uploaded. And there you have it. That's how you create a thumbnail using your photos and videos in Canva. We hope you found today's video helpful somehow, and if you did, please give this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more Canva tutorial videos. Thanks so much for watching, you guys. We hope to see you in the next video, and you guys, have a great day.